Assalamualaikum Hello everyone, how are you? And welcome back to this channel I've shown you how to make the first rounds of the main patterns of this beautiful handbag in the last video This is the last part of the first rounds and I'm gonna end it by making a slip stitch on the top of the regular double crochet After this I will continue to work to make the second round or the even round. I start with two chains followed by two double crochet in the next two stitches. After making these two double crochet, I'm going to start the main patterns of the second round. It's absolutely different from the main pattern of the first round. To make the main patterns of the second round or of the even round, firstly, I will make two pompos double crochet. Skip two pompos treble crochets and make two new pompos treble crochets through the next two pompos double crochet. Then make another front post treble crochet through the next previous front post double crochet. After this, make two more front post treble crochet, being on a skips two previous front post treble crochet. There are two previous front post treble crochets here. You can see them. Okay, make the first front post treble crochet through this previous first front post treble crochet. Then make another front post treble crochet through the previous skips front post treble crochet. This one is the second previous skips front post treble crochets. Okay, the first main pattern of the second round or of the even round is complete and this is what they look like. After that, I will make 6 double crochet in the next 6 stitches. Okay, the main patterns of the second round are complete. This pattern consists of two front post double crochets followed by the cable stitches followed by six double crochets. Now we're gonna repeat the cable stitches. Firstly, I'll make two front post double crochet. This is the first one. This one is the second front post double crochet. Then I'll skip two stitches or two previous front post treble crochet to make two new front post treble crochets. This is the first one. And 
and this is the second one. After making these two pronpose treble crochets, I'll go back to the skips pronpose treble crochets which I made on the previous round. You can see them. This one is the first pronpose treble crochet. And this one is the second proposed treble crochet. Okay, the couple stitches for the second rounds. Are complete. I mean the second cable stitches of the second rounds are complete. After making these cable stitches, just like before, I make six double crochet in the next six stitches. These patterns are applicable for all events rounds such as two, four, six, and eight. You just need to repeat this pattern to complete all the events rounds. Now I'm gonna complete this round two or this first event round. This is the last part of the round 2. I'm gonna end it by making a slip stitch on the top of the first regular double crochet. Then I'll make two chains to start the third round. After making these two chains, I'll make two double crochet in the next two stitches. The pattern I use on the third round is similar with the patterns I used throughout the first rounds because the first, third, five, seven, and nine are the odd rounds. So the pattern I use throughout these rounds are similar. To make the main patterns for this third round or for this odd round, firstly, skip two front pulse double crochet and make two front pulse treble crochet. Then make two front post treble crochet back on the skip front post double crochet. This is the first front post treble crochet then I'll make another one The cable stitches of the third round or of the first odd rounds are complete. Now I will make two front post double crochet through the next two front post treble crochet. This is the first one and this is the second one. After making the cable stitches, make 6 normal or regular double crochet in the next 6 stitches.
The complete main patterns for the third rounds are done. So repeat this pattern to complete these rounds. This is the last part of the round 3. I will end it by making a slip stitch on the top of the regular double crochet. Then I will start the round 4 or the second events round. After making 2 chains, I make 2 regular double crochet. The pattern of the round 4 or the second event round is similar with the pattern I use throughout the round 2. Firstly, I will make 2 prone pose double crochet through the body of the previous prone pose treble crochet. Then, skip 2 stitches or skip 2 previous prone pose treble crochet and make 2 prone pose treble crochet through the body of the two previous print poles treble crochet. Sorry, I mean two previous print poles double crochet. Back to the two skips print poles treble crochet and make two new print poles treble crochet through these two skips print poles treble crochet. This is the first one. Then make another one. After this, make 6 regular double crochet in the next 6 stitches. Repeat the patterns of the odds and of the even rounds until you get the high you desire. I've got the high I desire. Now I'm making a slip stitch on the top of the regular double crochet. After this, I will make first three rounds of single crochet. This single crochet is typically spiral. So I will put one single crochet in each of the stitches to complete this first three round. I've just completed the first three rounds of the spiral single crochet. After this, I'm going to determine the correct positions of the handle of this beautiful handbag. The right position of the handle is after the first cable stitches. Meanwhile, the left position is before the last cable stitches. This measurement is applicable for the both side of this beautiful handbag. I'm making its handle now if it's made of 70 Parnassian chain. I 
After this, I will attach these foundation chains on the left side of this beautiful home bag. And you can do the same to make another handle. After this, make two more rounds of the spiral single crochet. Put one single crochet in each of the stitches, including in each of the chain stitches which are created to be the handle of this beautiful handbag. This is the last rounds of the spiral single crochet. This one is the last stitch. Now, I will cut the yarn to end this project. Finally, this beautiful handbag is all ready. And this is what it looks like. I hope you like this pattern. If you have something to say about it, kindly leave your comment on the space below. Thank you so much for watching this video, see you again in the next video, have a good day and happy crochet!